Hello everyone and welcome back to Universal. It's in the few weeks that it's been since we've been here. There have been a ton of park updates, big announcements for Halloween Horror Nights, work on a couple of the uh, facades and the rides here. So I'm excited to be here and bring you guys along and show you all these updates that we have. So yeah, come along with us and let's enjoy a nice day here at Universal Studios Orlando. Walking into the park here and everybody's lined up to get their photo with the globe. It's kind of funny. It's iconic, right? You gotta get it. First up on our uh, park updates, we've got VillainCon here. It's like come a long way since the last time we were here. I think they may have had the V up last time, but it may have just been the purple background. But now they've got the entire, entire front entrance done. The walls are still up. And they've got the, uh, the queue, part of the queue here, painted already. And then all the way down at the end, there's a line that says evil stuff. So they are just about done with that. And I'm so excited to uh, finally be able to, to check this ride out, see what it's about. And of course, along with the announcement of horror, Halloween Horror Nights, uh, the date starts September 1st, there was a merch drop that uh, happened. So we're going to take you in here to the Celebrity Five and Dime and uh, go check out some of the Halloween Horror Nights merch. Here's their kind of big release, the See You in the Fog shirt. I love that it's got like the skull in the background that makes up the fog. And this shirt does glow in the dark, which is super awesome. I'll definitely be getting that shirt to See You in the Fog hat. It's almost kind of like a like foam feeling. I don't know if I love the quality of that hat. Seems like it will uh, kind of fall apart pretty, pretty quickly. There's a See You in the Fog mug which is really cool, coffee mug. It's nice blue on the inside. $16 for the mug, that's actually not a bad price for the mug. And then it says HHN 23 on the back, like that. And they have fridge magnets also. It's a pretty decent sized magnet too, $9 for that. And I'm ready for more Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. As soon as it comes out, I'll be there to show it to you. There's a candle also, it says, see you in the fog, scented candle. Let's see what it smells like. Is it gonna smell like, uh, like fog? No, it's not bad. It kind of smells like, um, like cinnamony a little bit, I guess. I don't know that it like really says like Halloween to me, but it does really smell good. I like it. I also spotted this Gremlins uh, pop lounge fly here. It's like, got 3D glasses on it and everything. The, how awesome is that bag? That's so cool. I guess they're having like a little uh, school like pride day thing here or something like that because there's a bunch of marching bands and uh, it really speaks to me because I was in the marching band in high school and I actually got to march in one of the parades and uh, in the Magic Kingdom so that was a really really cool experience for me so I know what these kids are going through right now but uh, whenever one comes through I always have to kind of stop and watch it because you know it brings back good memories I love it. I always like to get on a couple of rides while I'm here if, they, uh, if the lines aren't too long and so I just got off of Men in Black and we actually got stuck on Men in Black for a couple of minutes so um, that was fine it's nice and cool in there but the one thing that was kind of a bummer is that I was on like 155,000 like right kind of at the end as you go into the alien mouth and it reset my score so I was not happy about that uh, but it is what it is it's a fun ride anyway I think we're gonna move on now and see if we can find any more uh, park updates here for you. Oh. 
to came in a Daikon Alley because I felt like I was uh, kind of wanting a little bit of a treat. So I went into Sugar Plums, it's like a sweet shop, and got the uh, pumpkin pasty. It doesn't look like anything special, but uh, let's hope that uh, it's super, super good. It's not bad. It's a little on the dry side, and I feel like similar to the uh, lunchbox tart lunchbox tarts in uh, Hollywood Studios that if it had more filling it would be really really good it's not bad but a little bit dry so we got trapped on men in black and now it's showing that Gringotts is on a delay also so everybody's just kind of hanging out here waiting for it to uh, go down oh she's actually she's letting people with fast passes in so that's a good sign I think it's about lunchtime, so I've been craving the fish and chips from the Leaky Cauldron ever since the first time I got them. So I think I'm gonna go back in here and uh, go to the Leaky Cauldron and get some more fish and chips. I've been looking forward to these fish and chips again since the first time I had them, so let's hope they live up to uh, my experience from last time. So good. The batter is just so crispy and light. So here's the issue with the garden. Really awesome. I also got the uh, potted chocolate cream from the Leaky Cauldron. And it's just this cute little like uh, pot here. It looks like chocolate pudding, but there's like some kind of uh, fruit, like syrup or chocolate syrup or something on top. So we'll give it a shot. It's like chocolate pudding, but there's like 10 times the amount of sugar in it. It's really good, but there's like this cherry like juice on top that just like sends the sweetness like over the top. There's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all that. Well, the lunch at Leaky Cauldron was fantastic again. Uh, I think now let's make our way over to Islands of Adventure, see if we can spot anything uh, going on over there. It's really busy here. I'm expecting it's gonna be really busy there. We were going to take the Hogwarts Express, but it was like a 40 minute wait, so we can walk there in about half of that. We'll walk off some of this fish and chips, and I'll see you over at Islands of Adventure. So I came into the uh, gift shop at the Revenge of the Mummy ride, and uh, I found this shirt, and I have to get it. It says, Can You Survive Dracula's Spook House? That is an awesome shirt. Definitely picking that one up. Look who's up in the window. Kind of a cool little thing there. I haven't seen him before. Here's some more of the uh, construction going on over here at the like Minions Cafe. They are should be opening up pretty soon. I don't know if it's going to open up with the ride or not, but uh, yeah, they've got like most of the facade done on the front too. It looks like so should be shouldn't be too long. So this is one of those things that you don't like realize until you realize it, but on top of the uh, the Minions ride, there's a sign that says super silly stuff, and then the one that they've put up on Villain Con says evil stuff. I love little details like that. It's pretty cool. Pirates are coming back out. Ahoy! Story time with the Lorax there. That's kind of cool. They had the Grinch, the Cat and Hat, and everybody out. I don't think I've seen that. I know they did like the uh, reading for um, the Grinch that, who stole Christmas, but I don't think I've seen them reading the Lorax out there. But yeah, that's kind of neat. So I'm hanging out with a couple of friends today here at the park. And one of them has never been on Velocicoaster, so we're gonna see if we can convince him to uh, to get on Velocicoaster today. Okay, well, the 
decision has been made to to wait on Velocicoaster. We all have like Express after four, um, and right now it's like a 90 minute wait. So we're gonna wait a little while, and see if we can maybe do it after four. It's worth mentioning that it is also very, very hot and humid today, and it is very crowded everywhere. The lines are like, you know, 90, 100, 115 minutes almost everywhere, and uh, yeah, it's it's there's a lot. There's a lot going on here today. So hot out, I decided to stop and get myself a little lemon slush. But she said she was out of cups, so she gave me this little one for free, which I will always take free lemon slush. That's the stuff right there. It's like 90 degrees out. Nothing's better than a little frozen lemonade there. We're here next to the lemon slush place. They're like building some uh, bleachers and like they've got a little screen up over there. And this is where the smoking area was, but they've relocated it. And I talked to one of the uh, team members here and they said that they're filming a gaming uh, game show over here. So that's kind of cool to keep an eye out for whatever that's going to be. That lemon slush was so good so refreshing. Uh, now I think we're going to walk through kind of the Marvel area and the comic area. See if we can see anything over here that's new or interesting. Just keep on hanging out. It's super hot out. Uh, so we've been like taking little breaks in the shade here and there and everything, but we're having a great day out here at Universal. I say every time I'm in this park, I see new characters and there's Cyclops. I've never seen Cyclops out, but he's out. Look at him. In the store in the like kind of comic book area over here, I found this really awesome Popeye statue. I love the way like the spinach is coming out of the can there. It's pretty cool. $95 for that, but I like it. Here's a new bag I don't think I've seen. It's not a lounge fly, it's just uh, some other brand, but it's uh, Jurassic Park. It's like got camo and it's kind of fuzzy on there. I like that, it's kind of cool. But it'd be hot out there wearing it right now. They have a matching fanny pack too, if you need a fuzzy fanny pack. No! Now you know where to go. Also notice that the Mardi Gras merchandise is 50% uh, off on like, like mugs and other glassware, also on the shirts and everything too. And they have more stuff over here. They've got bags and uh, calendars, photo frames, stuff like that. But everything's 50% off right now because Mardi Gras ends on April 16th. So they're just trying to get rid of all of it. I've also noticed too that they've actually started putting a lot more of the um, Super Mario merchandise in the parks here. And uh, with Super Nintendo World coming up in, as part of Epic Universe next year, I understand why. Just kind of cool to see also a lot of Super Mario merch here. So right outside of the entrance to the park, there's an A-frame that says a hot set. Alec, uh, Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway in production today, which must be that game show that the, the team member was talking about they're filming in there today. It's kind of cool. Well, that's going to do it for us here today from uh, Universal Studios. Thanks for coming along and checking out a couple of the park updates, a little bit of new merch, and just kind of hanging out and enjoying a nice little day here with us. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. My name's Travis, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.